This is Karnataka's Hubli district, 425 kilometers from the state capital, Bengaluru. While the city is growing into an industrial township, its outskirts are still agrarian. Rising mercury and declining rainfall levels have left the region parched. Chitranjan is just one of the many farmers whose crops have been affected due to the lack of irrigation facilities. The water was very less, so with the available water for irrigation, we were growing chikku, mango, peanuts. After that, we did drip irrigation and made a farm of 12 to 13 acres. After three to four years, the water there also became scarce. After that, we could not continue with drip irrigation. After that, the crop yield also reduced drastically. On seeing the conditions of the rural folk, Sankalp Rural Development Society, headed by Sekandar Miranayak, sprung into action. An idea that germinated from the age-old borewell technology was taken a step further by the organization and what came into being was a borewell recharge. So instead of depending on groundwater, this borewell gets its input from rainwater. So the benefit of this is that one inch of rain is collected in the borewell, then 10 acres of farmland, then 5 to 6 acres of irrigable land is there, then irrigation can also be increased. In summer, they can grow vegetables and crops that need more water like sugarcane or paddy, then that can be grown as well. The idea is simple, dig a pond deep enough to store rainwater, channel it through a narrow pipe to help increase the force of the water. Pass it through a stone wall for primary filtering and connect it with drip pipes to ensure just the right amount of drip irrigation. The recharged borewell has a greater amount of water stored and only a bit gets used up in drip irrigation. The filters ensure better quality of the water as well. In this process what happens that it's a whole year's process. Water is continuously recharged then what happens is 2 to 3 lakh litres of water that is stored in a year, about 10 to 12 times, it would be full. That means that much of water keeps getting stored. So what happens is, if on one acre of land, one inch of rainfall is received, then we can store 1 lakh 20 litres of water. Sikandar spent hours with the villagers, educating them on this unique technique that would help them save time, water, labour as well as money. Chitranjan was one of the early adopters of the borewell recharge solution in Hubli. With just one rain, his pond was filled to excess capacity. While it was difficult to irrigate even one acre of land earlier, leaving his land barren, today he has enough capacity to irrigate over seven acres. As a result, Chitranjan has been able to fully utilize his fields with banana plantations. Naturally, his income and standard of living have improved manyfold. Since the borewell was recharged, the water recharges the water table and because of that, the crops also grow well and I get to earn a good revenue as well. Once the water table increases, then the chances of the borewell failing or eventuality of less rainfall is very less. Because of this, the cost of making a borewell is also reduced. At first I was growing chiku, but now I have started growing bananas and vegetables as well. Both bananas and vegetables require more water, which is fulfilled by the borewell. The crop yield is also good and I am earning good money from the sale of this. 